My journey this morning started at Perth Domestic Airport T1, which is the Virgin Australia terminal at Perth Airport. Uh, you can see from the street parking, the Virgin Australia branding, and going inside it's all decorated on this side, in the T1 domestic side, uh, in Virgin Australia logos and colours. So they've got the reds and the purples there with the self-check-in desks. Now as a business class passenger you do have access to the Virgin Australia lounge, but to get a video of the aircraft before passengers embarked, I headed straight to the gate. Uh, embarkation started at 6 o'clock, so I was there 5 minutes early. And it is the Boeing Sky Interior on this aircraft, a 8-year-old uh, 737-800, registration VHYIB. Now it's set up in a two-class configuration with uh, business class and economy, and also has the economy X seats uh, throughout the aeroplane. Business class offers uh, two rows of four seats, and so eight seats in total, and they're Virgin Australia branded leather recliners, which we can see here. And um, today I was the only passenger in business class. Uh, this was an economy ticket, but um, was upgraded uh, before embarkation on the aircraft. So the crew came around first with a welcome drink, nice glass of orange juice to help uh, keep me awake at this early time of day. Just checking out the seat, there's plenty of legroom here in the first row. Uh, you also have a little pocket there where the safety information and in-flight magazine is kept. There's also ample overhead locker space uh, for the eight passengers in business class, even if the aircraft is full. There's plenty of space for you to store your personal belongings. The Boeing Sky interior is also really nice. It's uh, bright and airy. The aircraft looks very smart. Now, if there was two people sitting in this uh, set of two seats, you could use that fold-out table for the second drink, and the seat recliner is adjusted by pressing the button there. Now despite a really quick flight time of just under an hour, the taxi out to the runway was actually quite lengthy and uh, this is because of the morning rush hour of all the aircraft departing Perth heading up north for the mining charters, so plenty of uh, 717s, Fokker 100s and uh, Boeing 737s heading up north at this time of day. We also saw a Qantas Link Fokker 100 which was also heading to Kalgoorlie. It departed before us, but we arrived before it did. I was so impressed by the breakfast that was offered on board this flight. Such a short flight, about 50 minutes in the air, uh, but the crew came around and offered a full breakfast, either a hot option or a cold option, which I went for, uh, and that consisted of three plates, which you can see here. Uh, there was, to start with, of course, the bread. I went for a brioche roll, a fruit roll, uh, and then there was a birch and muesli, as well as some nuts, which you can see there. And a bit of a close-up of the meal here, including that fruit brioche uh, and some fruit with yogurt. So a very extensive uh, meal for such a short flight. There was also a coffee service offered and I went for a cup of filtered coffee for this morning flight. And then just enjoyed the views out the window as we made our way eastward across Western Australia. 
Now the Boeing Sky interior has the more modern uh, lights and air vents and each seat has its own adjustable air nozzle. And this aircraft was also Wi-Fi enabled which was fantastic, uh, complimentary Wi-Fi. So now just enjoy our arrival into Kalgoorlie, you can see the Australian outback, the red dirt and, and some of the mines that are around the area uh, for this particular approach and then soon we will make a, a banking turn towards the runway and go past the super pit which Kalgoorlie is famous for. We are in Kalgoorlie and uh, disembarkation, you can see the 737 sitting there, uh, passengers leaving the aircraft before it would then return to Perth and then it actually went onwards to Melbourne so it was a busy day for the crew on board who did the Perth Kalgoorlie flight and then onwards to Melbourne as well. Uh, we'll do a little walk through the cabin now, have a look at the business class section and the economy class section uh, and also at the economy X which is their extra legroom section as well. So the aircraft laid out in the same uh, format as the aircraft that I flew over to Kalgoorlie on this morning. Uh, there's uh, eight business class seats and then we have the economy cabin with economy X being the area of the aircraft that has the most legroom for economy class passengers. The interior of the aircraft is decorated in this stylish uh, black, grey, black leather uh, and also has the coloured headrest there. This aircraft also had the Boeing Sky interior. You can see the economy section is laid out in a 3-3 configuration as is usual on the 737 and the galley service for economy class passengers is operated from the aft end of the aircraft. This is also where you'll find the bathrooms. Virgin Australia 737s do not have personal IFE but the aircraft does have Wi-Fi so you can connect to Virgin's Wi-Fi network. Here we have more economy X at the exit row. And these seats here, you do pay extra for, unless you have platinum status with Virgin Australia, in which case you can get them for free. There's plenty of legroom for somebody like me, who's very tall. And Economy X also comes with its own dedicated luggage space, so only Economy X passengers can use those overhead bins. I was really impressed with how the aircraft presented. The Virgin Australia colour scheme is very stylish and it looks nice and modern. Once again there was welcome drinks, again I was the only passenger in business class and this flight was also upgraded for my return uh, service using the Virgin upgrade bid. The very advanced error bridge was pushed away and the aircraft made its way to the runway for our departure from Kalgoorlie. Now this afternoon flight came with another extensive meal for the duration of the flight, again just on an hour and we got a full meal service. There was a couple of different options, I went with the poached chicken salad, which you can see there. It was a substantial sized meal for the afternoon flight back, it also came with cheeses, some bread and some dessert. They also offered alcohol for this flight. So it wasn't long until we were making our descent into Perth, uh, round trip completed and here's some brilliant views as we come in through the clouds. 
I was super impressed with the Virgin Australia experience on this short haul uh, hop to Kalgoorlie and back. I thought that the business class uh, offering on such a short service was excellent. And I think if you were flying for work, going into Kalgoorlie and planning then to head straight out uh, either to the office or um, onwards to perhaps one of the mine sites, it would be worth the upgrade to get that extra comfort and uh, the meal, quite a substantial meal for, uh, for such a short service. The crew on both flights were absolutely brilliant, uh, very attentive. I mean, granted I was the only passenger in business class, uh, but I couldn't fault the, the service. Uh, the seat for the one hour flight on both segments is very comfortable. And in fact, I've flown on this particular type of aircraft in business uh, across from Perth all the way to Brisbane, uh, and the seat is um, is comfortable for that service as well. Uh, there is, of course, um, in-flight entertainment provided only via Wi-Fi. They don't have the inbuilt screens like um, some of the other airlines, including Qantas, do on many of their aircraft. Uh, but the Wi-Fi service works well, and um, you can access the Virgin Australia movies uh, through their app uh, on your own device, either iPhone, um, iPad, or um, Android devices as well.